What the f makes you think you would be okay to advertise that this used to be slaves' quarters? Someone in Europe is trying to have their bachelorette party at Auschwitz, even if the foliage is really beautiful this time of year. America does love a good rebrand, even if it spits in the face of the generational trauma of an entire sector of the population, because we're trash. And by we, I mean you. Not me. I'm perfect. So, oh man, recently a TikToker uncovered some Airbnb shenanigans happening in what we affectionately in America call the Deep South. Um, these listings characterize these, you know, places to stay as like uh, cottages or, you know, basically side houses. However, the problem is that many of these listings happen to be historical sites um, and are the former dwellings of American slaves, right? And, you know, it's kind of obvious why this would be up to be posting this stuff on Airbnb as if it was just any other, you know, uh, place to stay, right? Like as if it's the pool house at some crib in um, some suburb, right? I'm of so many minds here um, because on the one hand, like if this is your property and you want to Airbnb this, uh, the fact that slaves once slept there, I, I like, I don't know that that should be an automatic disqualifier from renting the place. Maybe you should have to put it on the listing that what this is, but then that opens up a whole other can of worms of the kind of weirdos who would want to go sleep amongst the, you know, the presence of the spirits of the slaves. I don't know. Like there's something about this feels wrong, but I don't quite know what it is. I think preservationists and people like that, like who think like in order to observe our history in this country, you know, people should know what it was, right? Like people should know the actual truth of how slaves had to live, what their day to days were, right? Like we should know the facts of this existence and how horrifying and fucked up it is. At the same time, and this is where I'm gonna zig with a lot of black people on the subject, I think that a lot of black people in this country have internalized the shame of slavery in a way that I think is wrong headed. I don't think the descendants of African slaves here in the Caribbean, where my family is from, wherever, all around the world, Brazil, I don't think the shame of that institution and that, you know, just straight up atrocity should be carried by the ancestors of the slaves. The slaves were not the ones who participated in a shameful act. So I think what happens is a lot of black people in America have internalized that shame. And whenever the topic of slavery even is approached like this, just this, this cloud and this sadness that so many black people feel that I think we do need to be sensitive towards, right? Um, I, I think that's important. At the same time, I'm not sure if we shouldn't just make replicas of these dwellings, throw them in a museum so that people can observe them and understand exactly what the case was. Maybe even preserve a couple of them, but like this insistence that nobody should be able to ever inhabit the space that, you know, a slave lived in back in 200 something years ago. I don't know that I agree with that, like as a principle, right? Like I, I do think at a certain point, like it is just a house. That's not to say we shouldn't acknowledge the history. I just don't know that I necessarily feel like, oh my God, you know, just that this was attached to slavery. It's like this thing that's gonna hurt people. Um, I, I don't know that we should be functioning that way as an evolved society, to be quite honest. Um, and I think a lot of black people would disagree with me on that. Uh, I just don't know that like, this is just crass though, this Airbnb situation where you're just presenting this as any other cottage or whatever so that people can come sleep there um, unknowingly or knowingly uh, is, is just strange.